lot of dribbling. Alamon for three, hits it. Good sign for Indiana starting out. Just a very selfless player that does what she feel, feels like her team needs her to do. And this season, they really needed her to step up her form. Uh, see Mitchell is one of the more lethal players from distance. Wilson gets to the line over seven times per game on average, which is about a third of the attempts as a team. And then Achamla pays it back on the other end. Maybe third year because there's just a tough transition into this league. You're not going to come into the best league of the, uh, in the world unless you're elite elite. Alongside Holly Rowe, who's been in the bubble for us the entire time in Bradenton. Last week of the regular season and Kelsey Mitchell doing Kelsey Mitchell things. Robinson in her eighth year out of the University of Oklahoma. Dupree. I don't know with his Boy. face and hits it over Hamby. Like a machine. 10 for 10. Sugar Rogers, the one miss. The most productive bench in WNBA history as Kennedy Burke gets a score. Yeah, 106 assists on the season. I believe only second to Courtney Vandersloot. You are correct. Playing good minutes, getting experience. It's a three-point bucket there. National team that has qualified for the Olympics for the first time ever. One of her teammates, Emma Mieseman. And we hope that the Olympics go off next year. Holomon does it again. Here she is. Designation. Look at this off of the bounce. Creating space, playing with confidence. It will be a good challenge for Minnesota, a team that's had some defensive stretches that I know Cheryl Reeve isn't proud of in the last few games. But how about the rookie? That Angel had been harassing him for more playing time. Not asking, harassing. But, but he's smart. He's going to manage her minutes. Nice shot. Yep, that's uh, a Chanwa have both been very good three-point shooting teams, but Vegas is doing it another way. Can they really take it all the way with this style of play? It will be something fun to watch down the stretch. 12 of 14 from the free throw line. Indiana, one for one. So there's part of that difference as you see it. Boy, Candace Dupree just continues to be a, a bright spot. Not taking as many shots. Shot clock, Alamal, can't miss! I mean, she had to put it up. Shot clock was running down, Pam. Julie Alamon, the rookie, fearless. Seven of 16 from three. So that definitely is keeping them in the game. Alamon has five of their seven threes. And now a steal from Kennedy Burke. Julie Alamon with a career high five threes tonight. Nice pass into McCowan, who finally gets her first basket of the evening. My phone and filming. I will say this, I have three small fractures, but all of the players I see around campus are on their phone or... or... Shot clock at five for Alamon. Gives it up to Kelsey Mitchell, comes over and hits it. It's the aces, the fever right back in this. Vegas, after Indiana got close, Got to within two, an eight nothing run, mostly fueled by Asia Wilson Boy. hit for MVP. Tiffany Mitchell responding, Washington and Las Vegas. Vegas has Minnesota and LA, Seattle, Dallas, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. I got to give a lot of credit to Indiana. They've lost seven in a row. We need a miracle to make the playoffs down 20 and they did not quit. Autry got her pocket picked by Kelsey Mitchell. Daniel Robinson laid off. With the way Tierra McCowan has played, that forces Bill Lambeer to keep Carolyn Swords on the floor to have a big body that can deal with her there. Kelsey Mitchell with the pull up. True. Mitchell having much more success in long range. Does have three threes, but that last one before the timeout was a two, and then a block. Wilson picks up the personal foul. It did wipe the basket away. That would have given Vegas an eight-point lead. Kelsey Mitchell turns the corner and scores. Good play by Hamby not to foul Mitchell. 